Hi guys, this is Rals. Welcome to my balcony and to the Inside Jungle channel. Today I'm gonna show you my technique of transferring my uh, my plants, all of them, slowly by slowly, uh, to ceramic pots from plastic pots like this one and like this one and like plastic cups or wherever else I keep them. So because it's an investment, I'm just purchasing a few at a time. Um, and then I apply paint to them, a uh, color coat. This is uh, lavender, I would say. And I used for this acrylic paint. You can use oil-based paint, you can use water-based paint, and well, you can use whatever color you would like to have in your home, in your balcony, on your uh, patio out there, whatever color pleases your eyes. Now, because I want my ceramic pots to last longer and because the ones that I'm finding in my, in my store are not um, oven-baked pots, so I have to extend somehow their life by myself, uh, what I'm doing after the color is dry on them, I am applying a um, coating, like this one, of um, stone polish. So the stone polish that I have, the can that I'm using, it's a little bit old. I used it to my um, to my brick wall. If you watch my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. The brick wall looks absolutely amazing, and I love this um, I love this coating, and I'm applying it for other surfaces as well. Now this one already has a color, so it's not transparent as it should be. It has a certain, I would say, orangish color uh, because I dipped straight um, into the can. I dipped the the brush when I did my uh, my wall. This is my wall, my brick wall in my balcony. Let me show you how it looks like. I keep on changing the decorations, so uh, I keep on playing. Um, here it's where I should uh, have um, a fairy, a garden fairy. I'm going to try to look for a better glue. It just fell down. This is my thermometer. Um, as you can see, I have right now um, 19 degrees, degrees Celsius on my balcony, which is quite all right for the plants. This is my Dracena palm tree. And those are my photos, that is my prayer plant and this is how um, the brick looks like with this stone polish. It looks very nice, it looks very shiny. Uh, if you haven't watched my video, I'm gonna invite you to, uh, to look at it, to, to watch it because this wall had quite a transformation. And now going back to to my, uh, to my pla plates, I keep on calling them plates, <laughs> to my saucers, uh, this is how they look like. Um, I'm gonna let them dry, I'm actually gonna take this uh, wood, wood platform made out of wooden sticks, I'm gonna take them like this and um, put them on the heater inside, it's gonna smell a little bit in the house, but they are gonna dry faster, and after they are gonna dry, I can immediately start using them. I'm gonna show you in a moment also my pots, not only their trays, uh, but my pots uh, that are already in the drying process and they have a few different shades. Um, I'm really excited of how they look like after the, um, after the varnish, even though as you can see, uh, now you can see, even though they have a little bit of gathering. So if you open a can, try to use it as uh, soon after opening. If not, the color will change a little bit. So you have to, um, to assume that um, your colors, your color pots will not look exactly like you desired when you started the process. Um, but maybe in your case, you will find a way to seal it better or transfer it to a smaller pot when you're using it so you don't mix the color, so you don't dip the brush straight into the can, like I did. So please learn from my mistakes, yeah? Uh, and hopefully you're gonna enjoy your ceramic pots uh, like I am. 
I'll be right back. I'm back as promised. Now this is uh, one of the pots that I'm already using for quite a few weeks, weeks now. Uh, this went through exactly the same process. Um, color coating or maybe two color coatings. Um, then the polish, the stone polish coating. And then I played with a little bit of model over here. Uh, what I used over here, it's a special uh, special type of paint that you can apply on um, glass surfaces, metal surfaces, all kinds of surfaces. It comes in a, in a tube and it applies like you would apply super glue. Uh, now what I want to show you, because I don't want to lie to you guys or give you false information, uh, when you apply this process, and I believe this is because the ceramic pot I bought was not baked in the oven um look what happens over here so this nut this is the model i used uh but these bumps here they appeared in uh, in time it's like air went under the the polish uh layer or maybe it went under the um the color uh, I do not know exactly what uh, what happened. They do not bother me. Uh, nobody's gonna come and check them on my windowsill behind the behind the curtain. Uh, but just to let you know, you can have air bubbles uh, after after a while. I don't know the reason again why they appeared, but it just happened. And I cannot pop them. I don't want to pop them. Oh, look, this one popped by itself. I can correct it easily with a little bit of varnish and a little bit of color. That's not a problem. Or I can use this kind of uh, pigment, this kind of color, and I can uh, easily uh, correct and make some models, some flowers, some whatever on top of the bubbles. Well, again, it doesn't bother me, but if you're applying the same process, you might have this in time. Or you might not have, depending on the quality of... Um, um, of your ceramic pot and how it breeds because it breeds and why I um, I'm still suggesting you to take ceramic pots even if you color them if you, if you don't color them whatever you choose to do with them still use ceramic pots oven baked or not oven baked because your plants are going to breathe much better and they are gonna develop much better now this one is a calamondin or calamansi citrus type it's a seedling if you watch my channel you would know that i'm a little bit obsessed with this kind of um with kind of plants and i can tell you that the soil dries much faster in the ceramic pot uh, rather than in the in the plastic pot and to prove you that what i'm saying is true i will show you this little tree so this is a smaller version. I don't have yet a dry uh, tray for it. It's right here. It's right here drying, yeah. I just varnished it the other day. And this guy, because uh, I brought it to the office and I was not there for a weekend and one day. So in three days, I watered it on Friday and next um, time I watered it was on a Tuesday and he suffered of thirst, which doesn't usually happen three days unless it's very, very hot in a plastic planted pot. Um, and he lost, uh, he lost his leaves. Uh, they literally dried. It, it was, it's a very interesting process in the seedlings when, when they are thirsty. Citrus should curl, the leaves should curl like this when they are dry, but they're not curling, they're just simply drying from inside out and in the end they fell and I lost quite a few leaves in this one but it didn't give up on it and look he's giving me a uh, new growth you can see here right where the leaves were I'm trying to focus and from the node of the leaf he gave new leaves uh, they are much um, pale in color and it's going to take a while for them to uh, develop into this beautiful uh, beautiful green. Uh, but I'm going to take the chance with, uh, with this plant. I'm not giving it up on it. 
as it didn't give it uh, give it up on me although I was not there for it on time to water uh, the bark is also forming it's forming quite nice and quite well as you can see and it's, it's developing into a small uh, young very very young tree uh, this is approximately one year old yeah okay now these are my pots already in use and these are the pots I varnished yesterday and they don't look in a very beautiful shape right now they are still drying and as I told you before I'm using an old can opened a long time ago a few months ago a can of uh, stone varnish stone polish as you may call it and look look at the Oh, the accumulation of it and look at the color yeah uh, but I will easily uh, correct it with a model like this but following the shape of those droplets and it's gonna be just fine the importance is not to have where is it not to have this brownish color I don't like brown in any shape in any color in any hue I don't like color brown and these clay pots they do come in this color uh, orange brownish color and I try to remove the label on the back of them but I couldn't uh, remove it from all of them it doesn't matter I don't care about the back I care about the uh, top part of um, of my trays because this will be the water trays right so I'm using a shoe box the lid of a shoe box to keep all of them right now and as you can see this little pot over here doesn't have a tray right now so what I'm going to do when this one fully dries I'm just going to transfer them now be careful though what size of um, tray water tray you're gonna use because this one you, have, you will have to fill twice. For example, for this kind of pot, you will have to fill twice. I don't think this water will be enough um, for one uh, drinking session for, uh, for my seedling. So from this size to switch to this size, it's gonna, it's gonna take a while for my tree to adjust. Uh, to the quantity of water so I'll, be ha I'll have to uh, carefully monitor uh, how much uh, it drinks and how much it needs to drink um, this is how my other pots look like they are a little bit sticky not very so the polish will not um, will not stick on my uh, plastic tablecloth uh, but I'm still carefully and I'm gonna place them upside down and this is another hue of my uh, water tray another hue of um, purple, lavender I like actually, I really like this color I enjoy it so much it's so bright and happy it's a happy color uh, my next spots, they are gonna be in green, in lime green I just feel the need to color them in other brighter colors and of course they're not gonna be all together uh, in the living room uh, this color matches my living room <laughs> that doesn't and lime green definitely will not uh, so depending on which area of the house you uh, plan to keep your pots you have to adjust your color to match a little bit that would be uh, the ideal uh, so this is it guys this is the process look this is not the perfect one uh, because the um, uh, this pot was in use already uh, although I cleaned it and I washed it and I let it dry it still had some um, some impurities over there it doesn't bother me it's gonna come under a pot like this so it doesn't really bother me that much I'm not gonna see it and on top of this bumps so again I'm gonna play with some um, with some model yeah so this is it this is how I colored my clay pots and slowly by slowly uh, I'm gonna try to move all my pots not all, all my, sorry all my plants into uh, clay pots and if you're worried that the varnish the stone varnish uh, will uh, 
will uh, not allow the plants to breathe. It's already tested. They are breathing much, much better in a, in a clay pot with a polish or with a varnish on top um, than they are doing in a plastic one. So if you have the opportunity to plant your seedlings or all your plants from the very beginning in clay pots, I would uh, advise you or suggest to you that you would do that. Um, if not, try to invest little by little and transfer them, um, eventually all of them, into, into clay pots. It's, it's much better and much healthier for them. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It's gonna be a sign for me that you are learning from my experience and you do like uh, watching other gardeners out there and it's gonna help me a lot. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and hit the bell button so you don't miss any updates from my little garden on my balcony. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy gardening, happy painting. Uh, painting your pots and share with me please your experiences um, about plants, about pots, about anything regarding plants in the comments below. I'll be sure uh, monitoring the comment section and I'm looking forward to get in touch with you. Um, happy gardening over and out this time from my kitchen.